going on y'all this is obb the diecast news guy and welcome everybody to another what's in stores video for you guys and um uh, yeah today this is going to be kind of considered like a part two video because if you guys saw my last what's in stores video i did found uh some of the cars from uh that are also released in wave two of nascar things 2022 but it's the uh it's like a bonus wave that we got for the uh, test cars for the next gen, uh, which are now at Targets as well. So I'm here outside of the Super Target, actually the one that's actually my local Target. So um, that's why, because you guys don't know, I live in the downtown area of Orlando. So I'm here on top of a parking garage uh, at a Super Target. So hey, that's when you know, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> your boys living, uh, you know, the the uh, I guess you could say the the G life, whatever the hell you want to call it. You know, but life's good so far. Let's just say that. But um, yeah, guys, uh, today is uh, we are here at Target, and I got the proper retire wearing red so hopefully i don't get mistaken for a target employee yeah that's happened before then again red is my favorite color but back to what i was trying to say yeah uh what's in stores video um yeah this is gonna be like considered a part two video since i just found you know uh majority of the wave and there were some cars that i did left out that i did not found yet so i'm hoping that maybe we're gonna have the bonus wave inside this or wave two of nascar authentics i know i do got to pick up both henrik cars which are you know the number five and the number nine which we know are Kyle Larson and Chase Elliott, but I guess William Byron and Dale Jr. drove those cars as well. So those white test cars. I'm also going to be looking for uh, this car that's exclusive in this wave. is the RFK uh, Brakazowski official test car. Um, I don't know if that car has chrome numbers or not, but we'll probably see what happens. Um, and also I'm looking forward to the Kevin Harvey gear wrench car. Um, I don't think this wave has a liquid color chase piece, if I'm not mistaken. This is the first one we've had in a while where we don't have a chase piece. But whatever, though, I mean, not really a big deal. I'm just excited about some next-gen diecast. And, um, oh, yeah, the Dale Jr. Hellman's car from this year in the Infinity Series. Um, I reviewed that car, so I'm not really looking forward to that. And I forgot to mention this in one of my last video, guys, the Cole Custer test car. Um, I'm looking forward to see if that car probably is in stock as well. But I'm going to go ahead and shut up right now because you guys probably want me to go inside and see what's in this new episode of What's in Stores. And, heck... Let's get uh let's get our red shorts on and let's get let's get this shit rolling and we'll see you guys inside in this new what's in stores at Target. What do you guys know? The bullseye? 
does it again. So <laughs> yeah, um, main good reason why I love Target, man. They are always up to date and they're stocked up. I mean, the only thing that does suck is that, you know, we are paying a dollar more for NASCAR Authentics. So if you guys have noticed, you know, everything has gone up, but whatever though, it is what it is. That's, uh, that's just how, you know, this life is now. So, <laughs> but, um, yeah, $6 for NASCAR Authentics and they were completely filled to the top. Um, we even got some, uh, leftovers from wave one. I saw mostly the Chase Elliott Lumar window foam car. You know my opinions about that. <sighs> I hate it, but we got pretty lucky, guys, and we were able to pick up the remaining cars that I needed in this wave. So now the only cars I need to find now um, are the manufacturer, uh, the manufacturer unveil cars um, that they have in the bonus wave. So those are going to be the next targets to find. But let's go ahead and showcase what I got right here. So I was going to probably save this one best for last, but I'm going to go get out of the way. This is probably going to be the first next gen diecast for the Authentics version that we have that includes. The, one of the primary schemes for this year. This is Kevin Harvick's 2022 gear wrench uh, Ford Mustang for Storehouse Racing. Now, what's really cool about this die cast that I've noticed, uh, like once you look really close at it, is that the orange, it doesn't look, uh, I mean, once you once you get to the die cast review, you'll probably understand more, but this has like a like a metallic orange to it. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, but that's something we have not seen before with the Ganassi gear wrench cars. But yeah, such a weird sponsor that is on uh, Kevin Harvick's. And what's even weirder, guys, um, you guys know the whole you block the, the, the debacle between Kevin Harvick and Chase Elliott from last year's Bristol race. Well, apparently Gear Wrench, I guess, uh, sponsored on uh, their Napa car um, at the Coke 600. So if that's not ironic, I don't know what the hell is. But um, also shout out to all my Kevin, Kevin, uh, Kevin Harvick fans out and um, including my good buddy, Buddy as well. He's got a really cool podcast that you guys should check out. Uh, you know, the big motor ball blades. So shout out to those sons of bitches because they're good friends. And so I'd probably give them a good shout out. But I probably will in this review as well because, you know, he's a big Kevin Harvick fan. So, um, yeah, really cool, guys. I do like this primary a lot, guys. I think the only thing that I will have to criticize about this car is that, of course, you know, um, the big old black space that we got right here. I mean, I wish they kind of put more of the logos right here that are crammed in the quarter panel and kind of spread them out. But they kind of did that, you know, um, what, if you guys saw Kevin Harvick's Indy, uh, Indianapolis uh, road course car, um, they kind of had like the Bush logo and the Rush Truck Center's logo. So they kind of filled that gap. But um, I think this is like one of the first, uh, besides Kurt Busch's monster car, this is like the first ever, I think like Ford Mustang that was, uh, that was uh, I guess was, was released to the public when they were announcing the next gen diecast. So that's really cool. And then there's the back if you guys want to see that. It is pretty odd. We don't have any lip color chase pieces, but heck, you know, these next gen diecasts are kind of like them now since they're pretty much skyrocketed in value. All right. So this next one right here, I actually got, you know, uh, two of these diecasts, which I will be doing a double diecast review on because no point in reviewing, you know, these cars separately because they're pretty much exactly the same. We got ourselves the uh, Henry Motorsports test cars, which I know have been very popular. I did miss out on the, uh, I think it was the number five car, I think, from the test car wave. Looks like somebody beat me to that, that to it. But look at this, guys. We got ourselves um, going to showcase the Chase Elliott one, which I think William Byron and Alex Bowman might have drove as well, if I'm not mistaken. That's why it says test car and not Chase Elliott. But, you know, the Elliott fans out there are still probably going to go nuts over this thing. But uh, really nice. I mean, uh, this is the only um, Camaro diecast that I know that has the double Chevrolets. Um, by, by that, I mean, like, if you notice how the front end... Um, they have uh, the double Chevrolets um, logos, which looks kind of corny. It kind of reminds me of like what they did with the truck die cast. Um, I'm, I'm kind of glad that they, these are not in the primary, but these are really cool. Like I said, these kind of remind me of like the white autograph cars from Greenlight Collectibles with the Indy cars. Um, kind of does a little bit. I kind of wish we had an inverted version of this car. You guys remember the, the they basically had a version of this as well uh, that he ran at the uh, Charlotte uh, Roval testing, I think. And uh, that's the one he spun out. And, um, the colors are inverted. I must say, a, a matte black with the white number would look really nice. But, heck, you know, it's Chase Elliott car, so it's probably going to sell. And here we got Kyle Larson slash Dale Earnhardt Jr., which I did saw this at the January uh, Next Gen test, which was really cool. So, definitely have a lot of good, fond memories of this. We got the big-ass Chevrolet logo. So, pretty much the same. I do like the uh, packaging as well. The packaging's really starting to grow on to me. I wasn't really a big fan of it. I still prefer last year's, but it's starting to grow on to me. But this looks uh, this looks pretty darn nice. So, I do like that a lot. We got two more to showcase right here, and then we'll probably wrap things up. Now, this next one, I'm really was not, I, 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 now this next one, it might be a little divisive. I thought it was, um, I don't know, not going to be that good looking in person, but boy, am I ever wrong, especially me, uh, being a big fan of like, you know, classic cars and all that stuff. This is one I had to get because I really like that, uh, you know, storehouse racing, you know, um, put their little input on this but this is cole custer's uh i don't think we even got a cole custer next gen diecast that is going to be released in the wesley sports scale so this is the best best that we got but this is cole custer's 2022 uh storehouse racing's uh official ford mustang test car for the next gen 
really cool guys and if you guys notice as well guys this has like a nice uh look, look at that bright blue circle that's up on top guys that looks really freaking cool and then if you look closely where the racing stripe is guys that is metallic um i think also uh the side right here as well where that gray, gray racing line is that's also metallic as well so really cool features that we got right here oh even that 41 as well guys see the circle where the 41 is right there on the side that's even metallic so everywhere you see silver or gray is metallic so lionel actually did a really good job with this guys this actually looks really nice um i mean compared to the uh the dan schwarz gopro not the dan schwarz gopro car i wish we probably might get that nascar thanks to dan schwarz track house test car which i'm still disappointed that, that car did not have the chrome numbers and all that stuff uh but uh speaking of one that probably should have had chrome numbers and i know the 164 um uh, the co the collar generators and the fastenal 164 of this driver does have the chrome numbers on the gold series i guess they're not doing it for uh the nascar authentics cars because they're a little more cheaper um uh, but this is the the one that i think is probably i think one of the best for last it's exclusive to wave two so you can only get this in this wave is uh, Brakazowski's um, official debut of the next gen car with his new team RFK? This is the test car. I think that he, uh, you know, when he first made the announcement, like all the way back at the end of last year. But really cool guys with so the newly configured number six and the new Roush Fenway Kozlowski RFK. And they had a pretty hot start, guys, towards this season, guys, uh, coming into the, the Daytona duels. I mean, both him and Chris Buescher were your duel winners, which was cool. I was able to witness that in person, so that was really nice. Um, which, by the way, I will be in town for Daytona, guys, if you guys are. And um, if you guys are heading to the weekend of Daytona for the uh, final race for the playoffs. So I'm um, looking forward to uh, seeing you guys, any of you guys that are there, because uh, it's August now. So <laughs> hard to believe. But um yeah, this car, I guess, was supposed to have chrome numbers on it. And I guess, like, guess the RFK logos were supposed to be chrome. But, of course, uh, Lionel got a little cheap with this. and um, But, you know, I can't really complain, you know, $6. But really wish we added those features. Would look nice. Um, I think this was another card that, actually, if I'm not mistaken, this car was only offered in the 124 scale. Um, but it probably... I think it was off from the 164 scale. I can't remember, but I think it was canceled, just like the Suarez car. But um, yeah, and of course, you guys probably wondering, okay, why did I pick up the in, in the other diecast, like the Suarez car, the Stenhouse car, or the um, the Junior car, or the Austin Dillon car? Well, if you guys already know, if you, this is like a part two video of that What's in Stores video for anybody who's joining late on this uh, YouTube premiere. Um, yeah, this is basically like a part two because I know there's still a lot of the diecasts I need to get. But long story short, guys, I managed to get all the next gen diecasts now for uh, you know uh, wave two and uh, the bonus wave. Still got to get the manufacturer cars, uh, the Ford, the Toyota, and the Chevrolet unveil cars. Still got to find those. Uh, I've had really bad luck trying to find them already, but heck, we'll probably look, look at some other targets or Walmart very soon. But until we meet again, until we find those cars, and for wave three and NASCAR Authentics, this has been OBB, the diecast news guy, and I will catch you guys next time on another diecast video video and uh, feel free to comment below which die cast of this uh of the of these uh, that i just uh, recently showed you guys and picked up would you like me to review first um nick just appreciate you guys as, uh, continuing thoughts and comments down uh, down below and um yeah almost to 5k man let's get it done hopefully i'll, I'll hook you guys up with something uh, special for you guys for your continued support but yeah this has been brian i'll see you guys next time on another uh, die cast video and see you guys for now and have a great rest of your day